This message is going to be for my Virgos out there, Virgo or Virgo cross watcher. I'm, uh, I'm having some allergy issues today and it's probably all the cat fights I've helped break up. They've just progressed as the night's gone on and I've been using some of that Sistane, S-Y-S-T-A-N-E. Those, those are some really good eye drops if you're really allergic, if you, if, especially to animals. Those are amazing eye drops. But anyway, I'm having some eye issues in my left eye, like bad. I want to claw my eyes out. Ah! This is about the third time. It is the third time that I've attempted to do this video. Let's go ahead and start a timer. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna take any Zyrtec or anything or any aller allergy medicine. Well, I may take a Benadryl. Um, I should, actually, I should take a Benadryl, huh? I ain't gonna get much done. <laughs> I may fall asleep the next video. I'll be on the couch just <laughs> Some of you could be really tired during this time. I swear I wasn't gonna wear these, but here we are. Uh, I yeah, you could be really tired during this time. So have I been. I have been so sleepy. Like, all I want to do is sleep. All I want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> what? Why am I hearing that? I don't know. But anyway, okay. So here we go, Virgo. Let's go ahead and get started. Has somebody feeling... <sighs> Bear with me, my love. Has somebody been feeling kind of down lately? Uh, if you're not feeling down, maybe your partner's feeling down or your person, whoever that is. Somebody's feeling a little down. I don't know if there's something major going on, if there was a death in the family, if there's been sickness, illness, lack of money, uh, feeling trapped, uh, something. Car issues, no work, it's just the weather. Somebody could be feeling really down. Like, you know, I'm just not, and maybe maybe someone is like, oh, I wanna get you out, let's go do something. Let's, you know, maybe let's do, you know, just trying to make you happy. Like, if we have a partnership here, somebody's trying to make their spouse happy because you know, are doing everything they can to get their spouse to perk up and just like, hey, you know, or, you know, but it, it's not really, it just don't seem to be working at this time. Doesn't mean it won't. You ever been like that? I totally get it. Oh, I'm like that often, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you know, if you're, you could just be dating someone or you could be talking to someone and it's like one of you here is like, I want to get you to see something. I want you to get out of the house or go have fun or maybe people can't because the damn weather I don't know but what it feels like is um, one person is more let's fix it we can fix this we can figure something out and another person is just like I don't really want to you know, I don't want to right now I don't want to go out right now I don't really want you know just like kind of going through depression somebody could have depression here whether they know it or not, somebody could or have something going through like, if you're single and you're not talking to anyone in that way, and I mean in any way, like single, single, oh shit, I got a very clear message here. If you are single, single, and I mean you aren't talking to anybody. Did I just repeat myself? I do apologize. I'm going to go a little over on yours because I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. One, repeating myself, snotting all over myself. My eye is, uh, I'm surprised I'm not twitching it yet. Y you know, another person is, is I think, uh, giving up on a situation. Doesn't mean they're leaving someone or getting divorced, but for some of you, it can be. It can be. Like they're going through a separation now, whether you know it or not, it could be completely unbeknownst to you. But uh, vice versa, this could be reversed. But someone here, they're leaving a situation and whoever or whatever they're leaving is trying to keep them there. They're doing everything they can thinking that they can fix it in some way. And it's, there's nothing to fix. It's, you know, the person's made up their mind. There's no going back. Like they don't want to stay there, whatever there is and with whoever this is, with whatever situation it looks like. It could be a company that's trying to keep someone there, but they... They don't want to be there anymore. They want to move closer to where you're at or something. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. There's a million ways this can go. Uh, so, let's talk about that for a minute. If you're in this situation, I'm struggling. 
if you're in a situation where you're single and the person on the outside of you that you probably aren't aware of is doing this, prepare. Prepare for someone to, in some way, let you know this in the near future. They may just be like, hey, you want to hang out? I, I feel like this person wouldn't be, like, tacky. I don't think this would be someone who would be tacky. Like, as soon as something ends for them, whatever that is, I feel like I need to reiterate that because everybody would be like, well, they didn't divorce them. And I'm like, I didn't say they did or they would, you know, because you never know. <laughs> but um, I feel like they wouldn't want to be tacky, like just jump in the bed together, roll in the hay. They would be like, hey, you know, you want to go eat or something? You want to go out, watch a movie? You want to go on a road trip? You want to take some chill? Like, what do you want to do? I just want to, like, maybe someone's getting kicked out of a home or like a situation they're at is, is like too much for somebody right now. It's, it's a lot. And you're like their best fucking friend or something. Why do I feel a romantic undertone? Anyway, if you're in a relationship here, I feel like it could be saved, believe it or not. I do. I do believe it can be saved as long as there's not like uh, a third party. If somebody has already fallen for another individual here, maybe there's been an affair, maybe there's been a little like inwardly, like an emotional affair, not really physically doing anything, but emotionally wanting another. Whatever it looks like, somebody could Maybe they could. Maybe your relationship could end. You could be the one ending it. But if you're not having issues like that, and there has been no affairs or cheating, and nobody's heart is wanting elsewhere, I definitely think it could work out. It's just somebody's having a bad damn day or a bad season. <laughs> you ever been there? It's like this is a bad season, like in football or something. Somebody's having a bad season. It's just not their day, not their week, not their season. Somebody could be PMSing. Somebody could go into a midlife crisis. Somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening. Shit. Somebody could have just had surgery, need surgery. Somebody could have had some food poisoning. Somebody could have had a health issue. And it's like, I just ain't feeling it. You know? But <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing at I totally get it. Like, I totally get that. And whoever you're with, I believe, if they are loyal, they're going to totally understand. But they're going to do everything they can to lift you up, vice versa. If you are in a relationship or not in a relationship, but speaking to someone, talking to someone here, it's possible that someone is afraid you or vice versa is going to like eventually walk away. Especially if somebody hadn't tied someone down yet. That sounds bad, doesn't it? I didn't mean it like that. It sounds really awful. <laughs> tied someone down. If something isn't solidified, that's better. One of the parties here may deep down be like, dang, I, I don't want to... Like, the fear is not great. It's not a massive fear. It's not taking over someone. But the fear is definitely there of... If I don't, like... Will this person ever, will this end eventually? Will there ever be a time that we don't speak again? That we don't actually come together? Like, could I potentially lose you completely? Somebody does think this. Whether they tell you they think it or not, they definitely think it. So you got mixed messages here. Put, I guess, put it where it fits for you. There's a lot of questions in the air. There's a lot of emotions. Like, it's a high emotions during this time, but also high irritability. There's also somebody, like someone's going through a lot, uh, like spiritual awakening or something. Someone's going through a lot. I could see it where maybe someone here is I, like, I need a break, but it doesn't mean we're ending things or it doesn't mean I don't love you and I don't want you, but I need a break. Maybe not even from you. Maybe you're saying this. I don't need a break from you. I just need a break. It could be as simple as your partner or your person saying, I need a break. Let's go have a break together from life, from reality. Let's take a weekend. Let's take a day. If we can't take a weekend, let's take several hours. Let's take a whole, whole day, a whole last day and come back at midnight. Like whatever we do, let's take a break from the kids. Let's take a break from our job. Let's take off. Let's do it on the off day. It could be like, we ain't taking a break from each other, but we're going to take a break from life just for a minute to fucking breathe. That's healthy. If it's not that, it could be it could be a break from each other. It could be friends taking a break from each other, like a separation. But if it's not legal, it could just be, hey, I need a little bit of time. I need time to think. I need, it could be someone who's just, I don't know, maybe someone's getting some help for something, for an addiction. That is for just a few here. But someone, either someone's doing like therapy. It could be like physical therapy. So they're taking a break from work. Could be someone who is, oh, 
taking some time off to help a child of theirs get through an addiction, a grandchild get through an addiction, a best friend, or get through therapy, be there for someone, taking a break for a funeral, for um, helping people move. I mean, there's, I get breaks, I get mood swings here in this one. I mean, I relate to all this. I, every single thing in this message I relate to. Did I just miss that? Did you see how I missed my hand? I went straight past my hand, just boop. Not to mention my whole face, I wanna scratch it off. Like, look, I'm itchy. If y'all are new here, welcome. Um, I'm highly allergic to my cats. Like, very, 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 very allergic. But usually, it doesn't bother me. I don't know why sometimes it bothers me more than others. And I don't know if, like, when cats get pissed off, if they just, I don't know. Does that cause them to have more dander or more of that stuff that makes you itchy? Because today, let me tell you, sis, or brother, every single time I have picked up one of my cats, 26 seconds. I have, this is why I can't get it to go away because I've been picking them up all day, separating their asses. Like, oh man. Some of you could work around a bunch of griping ass people. I'm definitely getting that as another story here. Or you could just have a lot of customers that come in that just kind of, you just wish they'd shut up. You know, maybe just rather than not talk. You know, you'd be like, hey, my phone rang. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta take this call. Exactly, you know? I gotta take this call, I'll be back. And you're like, get in here. You're gonna deal with them because I'm not dealing with their ass. They're annoying the shit out of me. It's something like that. You ever been there? I can definitely see somebody like that. Like, oh my God. And it don't even have to be at work. It could be somebody who don't want to talk to a specific family member. Somebody you don't want to talk to, whatever, the neighbors. It's like, or someone calls. It could be like a telemarketer. Oh my God, it's itching everywhere. Is somebody allergic to some here? Maybe you're allergic to cats. Allergic to a medicine. Allergic to something. I don't know. But it's getting itchy. <laughs> it's itchy. Oh my God. I feel like there's so much more in yours I could pick up on though. Anyway, when the weather is better, wherever you're at, the weather could be great, but uh, something's making me say it, so I'm gonna roll with it. When the weather is, thank you guys for your patience. Any other sign would be mad, but this is a great sign to have these hiccups in because you guys are really understanding. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when the weather is better, you guys should take a trip somewhere, like go somewhere really cool, outdoorsy, get on the water, for like a water trip or camping, camping, glamping, maybe you like the lake. Some of you may live by the lake or you like the lake. A lake, there's something to do with the lake that is very specific here for some of you. The lake, the river, fishing or boating, houseboat, camping, hiking, getting outdoors, kayaking, canoeing, things like this, inner tubing. <laughs> you know, I don't mean like a water park. I mean like outdoorsy, in nature, uh, flip flops, bare feet and floating down the river. I'm getting river. I'm getting a river. And I mean, I guess you could do it now. You can get like a nice little Airbnb cozy up, you know. I wouldn't suggest doing it yourself because you just never know who's in these woods these days or who's got cameras up and then, you know, you can go out there and do a little skinny dipping, but you don't know what's in the water. You don't know what they're doing now, allegedly. You don't know what they're putting in that shit. So you want to be careful. Have you ever went swimming in the lake and you see like a tampon floating near you? Imagine what they're doing with it now, you know, and you know, they are. I mean, some of you could be like considered conspiracy theorists, <laughs> but you're, we all know that you're not. We all know that you're right the fuck on with what you're thinking and what you're hearing and what you're studying and what you pay attention to that nobody else does. You're not a conspiracy theorist. I am. Oh, it's a hair. Yeah, there we go. There's a hair. Oh, you just can't outscape them. That's it too. That's it. There's like, no, some of you may be thinking about, <laughs> you guys are like, she's all over the place. Um, what's going on in the world and be like, man, this is a, oh, we're all really kind of like you have maybe have thought that before with our water system. Some of you, something to do with a bunker with our food. 
you know, like you're seeing stuff that most people around you aren't seeing. You could be really into that type of stuff. And if that's not the case, some of you could just be, why do I pick up on someone's kids here? Especially if you're um, a woman who has children that are adult age. If you are a woman here with adult children, I pick up on a woman strongly. Um, well, I mean, don't we all do that though? All women, but for some reason it's come through strongly here in yours. Like you want them to be okay when you're gone. Well, you ain't leaving anytime soon. Somebody may worry about their mom dying here. She ain't going yet. I don't feel it. Mm -mm, not at all. Maybe there's been some scares, but or you're not going yet if it's you. It's not, I mean, now, I'm not God. But who I'm picking up on, they ain't going yet. It's just not there. I don't feel it at all. It's just, <laughs> mm -mm. But maybe someone here worries about their kids. Like, I want to make sure my kids are good or my kids have... You know, somebody thinks this, even if the kids don't see it themselves or not, you know. Someone's, like, hard on themselves. And, like, I, I swear I could stay on yours forever. Like, I feel it's just flowing right out of me. Can you tell? I've talked about any and every little thing under the sun. <laughs> but I am going to leave it here, though, because I did go quite over. But it's, I felt bad because, honestly, all that had going on. So I can't even form a sentence. Plus, it was comfortable talking to you. Maybe it's good therapy, you know. Maybe somebody just needs to talk here. Get out of the fucking house. You know, get out of the house just for a minute. Take a break. You gotta step away from someone. Take a, take a break. Step away. And some of you, I'm gonna narrow. I'm gonna narrow this down. And I'm gonna go. Remember how I said those of you who are single, somebody will will absolutely. I don't know when, but they're gonna be approaching you, and they, whatever they're taking a break from or stepping away from, it's because they need a breather, and it's kind of a compliment, really, to be this breather for somebody to be someone that they 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 thoroughly enjoy talking to. They may even have a little crush or more. You never know. Someone could even invite you on a trip. Like, you want to go somewhere with me? You want to hang out? I like yours. I like your message today. Feels really good. A little bit like someone's over-worried but doesn't need to. <laughs> but I do that all the time, so who am I to talk? All right, love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.